Hey y'all, today we're going to talk about our uh, stimulant based fat burner called uh, Go Pills. And so, some of the ingredients in this one will have Greek tea extract, caffeine, teacrine, and yohimbine. And so, what's important? Why does each product work and why do we choose, choose them in the amounts we chose? Well, number one is caffeine. Everyone knows about caffeine. And most people think caffeine is a stimulant. And it, it technically isn't a stimulant, it's actually a, it's an anti sedative, I guess. There, there's a there's a uh, chemical neurotransmitter in the body called adenosine, and uh, uh, it's an adenosine antagonist, meaning it blocks the effects of that. So it kind of, it doesn't necessarily stimulate you, but it blocks the effects of feeling tired. Uh, but some of the other benefits that are beneficial on metabolism are its inhibition of uh, phosph phosphodiesterine. It actually is an antagonist to benzodiazepines, uh, which uh, anyone, I mean, not anyone, but people have probably noticed that uh, if you combine caffeine with certain uh, things like uh, alcohol, is not necessarily benzodiazepine, but that you, they kind of seem to counteract the effects. But one of the other important things is it stimulates the release of calcium. Uh, and then, if you know me from troponin nutrition, uh, cal where troponin comes from is calcium rushes into a muscle cell and binds to troponin, which moves troponin off tropomyosin and actually allow, allows the fibers, the myo, myosin and actin muscle fibers, to, to contract. Uh, the other product that we really like is the, the teacrine or the theacrine that also inhibits uh, phosphodiesterine, uh, but it, it even more so uh, it restores uh, brain glucose metabolism, metabolism, which is really important for mental focus, and that actually gives you uh, a like a, a stimulatory effect as opposed to the way caffeine just blunts the sedative effects of, of being tired, uh, and it also restores levels of 5-HTP and dopamine. Now, what are those? 5-HTP is actually the precursor for uh, the, the feel-good hormone serotonin or neurotransmitter serotonin, which is great, but more importantly, it's the dopamine. And uh, dopamine is kind of the, uh, the dopaminergic pathway is the stimulatory pathway. And so uh, dopamine eventually turns into uh, norepinephrine and epinephrine, and those are the adrenaline hormones. And now uh, the other thing we have is green, green tea extract, which uh, is standardized for 50% EGCG. And uh, green tea is important because EGCG has been shown in clinical studies to uh, raise subjects' energy expenditures and lowers the respiratory quotient. And what that means is, is it obviously the energy expenditure means you burn more uh, energy, but also lowering your uh, respiratory quotient also increases your metabolism. And now the final product is uh, yohimbine hydrochloride. And, uh, you see that a lot in products, and I've always been torn on yohimbine. Yohimbine is also not really necessarily a, 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 a stimulant. You know, we, people know about ephedrine, which is a beta agonist. And in the, in, in the body, there's beta-1 receptors in the heart, beta-2 receptors in the lung, and ephedrine is a beta-2 agonist. It's supposed to be more specific for that, but there's a lot of crossover. And that's like the go, the go receptors in the body. Well, there's another kind of receptor called the... Uh, alpha receptor and the way yohimbine works is it's an alpha antagonist you mean you know it inhibit, inhibits that sympathetic activity now the problem i always find is that uh yohimbine some people respond really well to it but some people feel an odd kind of anxiety with it uh and so a lot of people don't like it but the problem is it, it really is an effective fat burner and it, and it can actually be effective for what people would call stubborn fat i mean it's really beneficial so what we did is we, we used a slightly lower dose of the yohimbine uh, so that uh, you get those, the benefits of that uh, alpha-2 antagonism, but without such a high dose that you run into any of the issues with anxiety or cold sweats or the things that people dislike about yohimbine. So as far as I'm concerned, it's the perfect combo, perfect legal combo of uh, products that burn fat without making you feel like crap. And actually the opposite between the, the feel-good feelings of the the teacrine and the, and the caffeine and with the lower dose of the hemline, you should feel really, really clear, smooth, clean energy and focus on this.